welcome to today's video. My name is Laura and this is my channel Laura's Little Library and today I am doing my March bullet journal spread. So for this journal spread I decided to be inspired by St. Patrick's Day but to more so specifically focus on Irish knots a little bit and symbols. So my title page has the tree of life with the most basic uh, three point knot or kind of trinitarial symbol woven into the tree of life. I'm really happy with how this turned out in terms of the title page. I think it's probably the best part of this entire spread, honestly. I realized right after starting this, after I'd already planned everything, that I only have one green marker. So this is a very monotone spread because of that limitation that I didn't realize that I had. So it's it's not my most proud spread. Don't get your hopes up too high. I might even repeat this idea in the future for a different spread when I have more materials to make it better. But for now, I just kind of based this off of an image that I saw on Pinterest that seemed pretty simplistic, something that I could easily mimic. I do a lot of outlining in my black pen as well, just to kind of get more definition. So first, again, I have my calendar spread. I like for this to take up two pages in the journal so that I can have plenty of room to write specific things that are happening. There are a couple of readathons and events happening in March that I want to make sure I don't miss, so I have plenty of room to keep track of all of them, especially with some that have overlapping days here. So this is just one of my most useful spreads that I will always have, and I love having it at the beginning so I can just kind of visualize where in the month I am and what it looks like and what like the beginning of the month, the middle, and the end of the month look like. It's just a place to see it all come together. So here you can kind of see how I'm just using this one green to outline a lot of these symbols just to kind of give the page some color even if it's only just one green. These are some pretty common symbols that you would see around again just searching online or Pinterest. But then moving on to my TBR spread, I decided to do four leaf clovers because hopefully I'll have a lot of luck this month and I'll be able to finish this TBR, hopefully. I wanted again to limit it only to six, even though there are more books I would like to read this month. I just want to focus on six that I am going to hopefully read. And yes, I am not an artist. I know that these are some very wonky looking four leaf clovers. We're just gonna have to deal with it. I I don't hate how it turned out, like knowing that I'm not an artist, that looked pretty good. But my book's red spread, I was very happy with. So it I literally did my best to just outline Ireland somewhat. I tried to get some of the major like bumps and grooves in line, but otherwise it's it's not an exact replica. I didn't trace or anything like that. But I like how clean it turned out. I was very surprised with how nice it actually ended up turning out. But it's very simple, very plain spread. I'm just glad I liked that outline. And then here is an addition that I only use when there are readathons that I plan to participate in. So these are this page is setting up two separate readathons happening in March that I would like to participate in and keep track. I have it on a separate page than like my TBRs just so I can keep the readathon TBR separate from my monthly TBR just so that it's not one big pressure and I can better keep track of the prompts. So on top I have the Forever Romance readathon, I have the dates who it's hosted by, the prompts, the TBR, the Instagram prompts, and the dates there are sprints. And then below it, I have the backlist readathon, again, prompts and TBR. And then finally, I have my rankings page. I could have done this page so much nicer. Uh, four leaf clover obviously is the best, and then the three leaf clover is the worst just because it's average, normal, not unique in any way. Again, this page is just so plain, and I don't like how I colored in the knots, so. 
If I had multiple shades of green, this would be so much nicer. <laughs> and then finally, I am moving on to my books to buy spread. This is a relatively new spread since I am only allowing myself about $20 per month. Uh, my camera had a little bit struggle there, so we moved on to YouTube already. Again, very green, very one note, and very basic. Same with Instagram here. It really is just the same spread, but with different colors than last month. Not a lot of details have changed. I just like having a very structured, very organized system that I can depend on. Twitter, I've got those little swirls to keep track of my posts for every day. TikTok, again, same basic um, box structure just to keep it plain and simple so that I actually am motivated to use it and it's not too complicated to follow along. And then again, I have my uh, self-care page, which is more of a personal page, not something bookish, so I won't go into too much detail about it. And finally, my reviews. As I always do, I put two reviews per page. I keep track of the title, author, star rating, and publisher. And I'm just going to do four for now, but I'll have a lot more. So this is my spread. Like I said, it's definitely not the best spread that I've done, but I'm hoping that in the future I will take into account what materials I do and don't have. If you like this video, somehow give it a thumbs up. I have my bookish social medias down below so you can go ahead and follow me there. Otherwise, I post on Sundays and Wednesdays, so click subscribe so that you can be notified when exactly I post on those days. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching. I still had a lot of fun putting this video together. And until I see you all in the next one, I wish you happy reading!